Okay, so uh, I want to uh, clean out the injectors uh, from my uh, Saturn that uh, broke the timing chain. So uh, while I got the head off, I was going to clean the fuel injectors out. And you can do this uh, pretty cheaply. Um, basically, I uh, had to find a piece of hose that would fit uh, each end here. And I believe they're the same size. But uh, this uh, half inch garden hose, I think it is, or 5 eighths inch, uh, whatever. I'll set the camera down for a second. So as you can see, it just slides right over uh, the ends of the injector. Same thing on the other end there. Now, uh, I actually do it uh, this way first. I uh, back flush them to blow all the crap out. Uh, if they've got a little screen in there or something, blow it out. Uh, now, what I do now, I... Uh, can't do it here, but I tighten this hose clamp down a little bit further there, make sure it's right on top of the O-ring so it'll uh, seal. And uh, then I uh, fill it up with 100% uh, uh, injector cleaner, the type that you pour in your gas tank, uh, just fuel injector cleaner. I uh, dump it uh, right in here until it's, you know, approximately there. It leaves me room to insert my uh, air fitting there. And I'll do that. And I uh, tighten the hose clamp down around that. And then I connect it up to, uh, in this case, uh, I regulated uh, air pressure source at uh, 40 PSI. You can't just hook it up to 100 pounds or anything like that. You want it, you want it like between, say, 30 to 50 pounds. That's about what the system runs at. So you don't want it any higher. You probably pop your garden hose off. Or you got to be careful here because uh, the fuel injector cleaner uh, spraying out is probably flammable. But uh, I'll, uh, and then also you need a, uh, I have a connector here uh, from another car uh, to connect up to the injector. Makes it uh, faster than trying to fiddle with wires. But I'll try to show all that to you here in a second. Okay, so continuing on, see I got my uh, fuel injector cleaner there, bottle of it, my. Uh, wiring harness off another car here. You really only need one uh, injector connector. So you just uh, plug it on. I'm just using this top one up here. Plug it on there. Okay, good to go. And uh, then what I, uh, what I actually do, I have it unplugged. And then I uh, take the injector cleaner Fill the, the tube up to about uh, an inch from the top, and then uh, insert insert this. Tighten the hose clamp down, and then uh, turn the air on, and then power up the uh, injection line with. Uh, I got in this case, it's a nine volt uh, DC uh, adapter. Uh, you can use up to 12 volts, I guess. Somewhere between six and 12 volts should be fine. You need like uh, 0.3 amps, 300 milliamps or something. You don't need a whole lot of power to run this um, and uh, should be good. I'll try to uh, film it here uh, in operation. That'll be a little trickier since I'm doing it in semi-dark conditions. Okay, I'll try to catch this on video here. So I connect my compressed air up. Actually, no, I connect the electricity first because that's easier. There. Now I don't have the electricity on yet, I just have it connected. Then I connect my compressed air. And this is back flushing, so it's not going to be very spectacular. But here we go. Okay. So she's now been back flushed. Okay, so here we go. With the... Uh, Actually blowing it out the nozzle. Get the electrical connector on there. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Wrong one. Oh, seems to give me grief here. There, got it. Okay, now connect the air up. Mm -hmm. Just 
start the electricity. I just let it spray constant. Now, not to breathe too much of that stuff in there. You want this? You want to do this in a well ventilated area outside? Whatever you don't really want to do it indoors. Get all that spray mist you make there. And pull her back apart and get a clean injector. So a couple precautions you have to take there. Um, like I say, you got to do it outside in a well ventilated area. Uh, no ignition sources, cigarettes, uh, uh, you know, blow torches, anything like that. Because I'm sure this stuff's flammable when it's spraying out of a nozzle like that. Um, like I said, you just need say a six to twelve volt uh, electricity source. And when I'm spraying it, you can pulse it, but maybe if you had a second person doing it, I don't pulse it because uh, I'm within range of the spray mist, and I don't want to have a big explosion on my hands or something. So. I just keep it going continuous. It cleans the nozzles out just fine that way. So, so just a few precautions you have to take when you're doing that.